guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello and welcome, my name is Katie and this is my weekly tarot and oracle card reading. So this is for the week beginning Monday the 23rd of January 2023. So if you would like to know what cards are going to be pulled for this week, then make sure you keep on watching. So, if you're a regular, you know that I start with my house and home deck. We have an oracle section and the major arcana cards from a tarot deck. So, what message do we need to hear? What message do we need to hear? Sometimes these cards don't like to um, play ball first we go on in. So, I'll just shuffle a couple more. Oh, hello, that one flew out. Okay, so this one says, <clears throat> embrace your creative side, try new things and have some fun. So as I said, these ones all have different, door, different doors or different types of houses. So embrace your creative side, try new things and have some fun. So obviously, if you've been thinking about doing something different for a while, something a bit like, as it says, creative or arty or crafty, starting a new hobby or starting something that could turn into a business, this is the time to look into that. It's time to research, try it out, see if you actually enjoy doing this. Um, and as it says, have some fun. Don't make it too serious. Don't like too much thought into it thinking oh my god am I going to enjoy doing this just have some fun with it um and maybe you'll just have maybe you'll let some things go just by having that little bit of fun and not um caring about things for an hour or two so if you're thinking about doing something creative this week is the time to maybe give it a shot so wow that one literally flew <laughs> out Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, House and Home Cards. So, secondly, I like to go to the major arcana cards of this deck. As I've shown before, it's just different types of houses and homes and locations, and they all represent a card in the major arcana of the tarot. Um, I do use the guidebook for this deck because, as I said, it's not a traditional deck. So, um, all the houses mean different card, different um, things with the major arcana cards. So what what do we need here? Do we have a message? What do we need here? Okay, the start cards are coming alive. We've got two. So I'm gonna go with those because they both flew out together. So the first one that I saw fly out was called the nest um so i'm going to quickly look up what the nest is in the little guide book okay so the nest is also known as the hanged man of the tire deck so this house belongs to an acquaintance it is wedged between the branches of an old tree the house for most parts appears sturdy with multiple levels and various options for entry there's no real telling how far up or down you can go. Winged friends will huddle around to watch. Perch nearby or spy from up above. Good luck finding the door. So, the word associations are suspension, confidence, an alternative outlook, in between waiting, insight, fantasy, imagination, sacrifice, traitor, Reversal of values, unorthodox solutions, introspection, stuck, bound. So this kind of goes with the first card. You're, maybe you're feeling a bit lost and stuck and you don't know what to do. Like it said, uh, in between and waiting. So maybe you've been waiting for something to show you this is the time to look into this creative aspect that you've maybe been thinking about. Um, and um as it says an alternative outlook so maybe looking into this new thing new creative thing that you're thinking about doing whether it's work or 
even just a hobby some people really look into doing um information on hobbies so um maybe looking at it in an alternative different way may be beneficial and yeah so you may be feeling a bit stuck at the moment but um if you just look at whatever you're thinking what you're in the middle of in a different way just turn maybe turn in the point of view a different way it might help bring a different side out that you haven't seen before um even though it says like things like traitor and things like that it doesn't necessarily mean that someone's going to be a traitor to you they're just some of the different words that this card means so it also says an unorthodox solution so maybe you've been thinking about it too like too hard maybe there's something different that needs to be done like thinking outside the box looking at something in a different way which may bring a solution to you for this new maybe this new aspect yeah so if you are feeling a bit lost and stuck um maybe just look at things in a different way in a different light and it may help bring something different to the table um so yeah um i would just need to reply to a message and then i'll get back to doing the other card that put that, that flew out as well so that I just need to reply to a message. So the second card that came out is called the Institute. I can't remember what this one is. I know it's another of all our big cards. So what is the Institute? Also known as the Moon. So we had the Moon last week. So this house belongs to someone you've yet to meet. The house is shrouded in darkness. It's back to the low hovering Moon. Enter the unknown at your own risk. Better to stay safe within the light than wander off. Thankfully, the gloom won't last forever as the sun has to come up eventually. So, again, as I said before, it's neg negotiations, confusion, difficult path with few and consideration, release from uncertainty, hesitation, instincts, look beyond what you see. So I think this may be how you've been feeling relating to... Um, what I said earlier about the looking into the creative things and it also goes with the hanged man so this, I think the moon is kind of how you've been feeling and the hanged man is kind of giving you the advice of what you should do so if you have been feeling confused and things like that it's kind of it's difficult I know because I've been in this situation and you want to try something new but you're really reluctant to do it um so like it says caution um and uh the past maybe the past is like um coming coming into your mind about things maybe you've tried something new before and it didn't work and maybe you're a bit, as it says hesitant hesitation maybe you're feeling a bit hesitant to try something new but um as it says look beyond what you see so even though you are potentially seeing and feeling all these things, negative feelings and hesitation, look beyond that. And as um, I said, if you look at things in a different way or an unorthodox way, it's going to help you decide whether you think this is the right thing to do. So as you, as I said, don't, if you can look, as I said, it says, look look beyond and it will really really help it will bring out a more positive outlook and if you can look at it in a different way in a different light um it's going to help you work out whether you are in the right frame of mind to do what you're wanting to do or it will just generally help you i think i always think that i need to look at things in different lights and not just in the same way that i always do so um yeah I'm going to take my own advice this week. So, two probably darker cards, but I can see why they come out together because this is how you've been feeling and this is kind of giving you some little advice and tips on how to deal with things. So, thank you, House and Home Cards. We really appreciate your advice. So, next, let me just get these cards in the right box because I always end up putting them in upside down. <laughs> So thank you, house and home cards. 
and if anyone is interested in getting into tarot and oracle card we actually went to the works over the weekend and they've actually got some witchy books tarot books i actually bought another deck of tarot cards <laughs> um because um i felt drawn to them and it was in this um in the deal and i'm just put, i've put them under my pillow just so it's one of the good thing, best things to do if you're learning tarot is to put the deck under your pillow for a few days so you can bond you get a bond of them so this is the new tarot deck i will eventually be using they're so pretty um and it's a proper traditional tarot deck the pictures are just slightly different but they're still the traditional cards um so yeah that was that um really good price and it's got a guidebook with it as well um which i've got in my little witchy corner here <laughs> so on to the next deck which we all know is one of my favorites it's moonology oracle card deck so let's see what we can pull for you guys today so what message do we need to hear <sighs> Right, what do we need to hear? That one's sticking out, so I'm going to go with that one. Okay, so we had this last week. <laughs> Have faith in your dreams. So again, it relates to the other cards. If you're thinking about changing career, starting a new hobby, starting a new business, starting something completely new, you need to have faith in your dreams. If you've been feeling, as the other card says, reluctant, hesitant, confused, not sure, you need to have faith in your dreams. If you can, as it says, look in different ways at your wanting, what you're wanting to do, then that will really help get your dreams. So I am going to pull another one because I didn't have that one last week. So let's see if we get any other messages. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I don't think this is for me, but um, a new romantic cycle begins. So I don't know if there's anyone out there who is not in a relationship or um, maybe um, relationships have become a bit stagnant or um, something like that. Maybe something romantic is going to start very soon. It's come up to Valentine's. Would be nice if um, that happened to me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, but apparently a new romantic cycle is going to begin soon. So that was the Moonology cards. We thank you very, very much. Um, I'm just going to... I didn't look in my tarot book at what the major arcana cards meant so i'm just going to quickly have a quick look just in case i have missed anything so we had the hanged man so for the hanged man the quote says i am the sacrifice we must all make to arrive at the truth um this card represents sacrifice and the willingness to face short-term losses to ensure long-term gains. Uh, the fool must learn patience and how to act strategically to achieve the result he wants. He, must, he may also benefit from a different perspective on the problem at hand. An immediate advantage must be given up, but will eventually be replaced by a much better opportunity. All expectations should be surrendered for the time being. So yeah, it's kind of the whole um, sacrificing something to make um, to come out of it in a better outcome. So yeah, patience, waiting, surrender, sacrifice, wisdom, foresight, planning, strategy, eventual gain. So like it says, you may have to change something and it might be a short term loss, but you're going to come out of it with something better. So kind of maybe looking at the plans and ideas and seeing if it's worth sacrificing what you're wanting 
what you're doing to come out of it in a better light. Does that make sense? Um, and what was the other one? The moon. We had the moon last week, as I said. Let's see. The moon. I am the fear that lurks at the bottom of the water. So, uh, do, do, do. yeah, so situations are vague and unclear. Matters are not what they seem. We can. Um, we are advised to avoid deception and paranoia. At this time, we can more easily tap into our unconscious and find creative solutions to problems. The way ahead is foggy, but we should allow our intuition to guide us. Um, so, yeah. As I said, it goes with the other cards. You it may be feeling a bit vague and hesitant and not the best feeling, but as it says, use your intuition. See if you feel this is the right thing to do at this time. Um, and as I said, look in, if you can look at it in a different light, maybe get advice from someone, then that may help you make your decision better. <laughs> So I just wanted to do that just so I made sure I've got all the points covered with the cards. So last card of the reading is my Guiding Stars, which is also Oracle cards. And they're always a nice, positive way to end the reading. So last card. So what do we need to hear? cards all sticking up then. I'll go with this one. On this day I sow seeds of intention and take my destiny into my own hands. So again it's all about your intentions, your intuitions, your thoughts and feelings about what you're thinking of doing. So maybe today sit down and make them um, make a list of their intentions and thoughts and what you wanted to do because it says on this day so maybe today is the right time to just sit down and think about it all obviously not make it so it's stressful but maybe this is the kind of time to just take that time to maybe go over what you're thinking and what you're wanting to do um because as it says and take my destiny into my own hands so if you can have this time to just sit and think and maybe write down in the notebook or planner what you want to do this will be it will probably take a weight off as well because you're thinking about it um and it will help as i said taking taking your destiny into your own hands so you are putting in the effort to set them intentions and thoughts um so yeah that is that and that my lovely friends is the end of this week's reading i was thinking maybe of doing something for valentine's but i don't like to do kind of specific readings i like to do just a general reading because then you can take what you want out of the reading it might not be a specific thing related to love apart from that new new romantic cycle card coming out but um i like to just do general readings so i'm not sure if i'll do anything specific for valentine's yet um but i shall have a think and you shall see in the future readings so i hope you enjoyed this reading and i hope it resonates with you if it does please leave a big thumbs up and if it doesn't maybe you've got a friend who needs to, who might need to watch this video um it might resonate with them instead um and yeah i hope you enjoyed if you did as i said please don't leave, forget to leave a big thumbs up and if you're brand new to my channel hello and welcome we are happy to have you please hit that subscribe button as i do these weekly card readings um and i really enjoy doing them and i like to share just share <laughs> so i will speak to you next week in another reading take care stay safe and blessed be bye